Man, I am. I'm hoping I'm not too late. I am right here, just a block away from the Redbrook House at the Plum House, and I want to get one of the history books. Um, they close at four o'clock. I forgot they open ten to four on Thursdays, and it is three fifty-three. Oh, there's that damn gopher. The gopher's over here, or a groundhog. Groundhog, gopher. I don't know which they are, but let's take a look. Hmm. Looks like they could use Tracy's services. Let's see. Wooden water pipe. I'm going to have to check that out on the way out. Please still be here. I really want the book. Okay. Please go to the well, looks like we're too late, but here, here's what uh, we have right here. Developed between 1802 and 1806 on the western edge of Waynesboro. You see how it looked back then. So this is the Battle of Waynesboro um, when McDowell's early, up there at 62, but 65, Jubal Early um, came across Pine Avenue in the west, capturing most of that boom. So, we're looking at, there's the South River. We're here, okay? And the red brick house is right here. So we had early, early back up here. No, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, 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 I got, I got my bearings wrong. We're here. The South River is down there, okay? So the South River, okay. South River is over that way, okay? So this is Main Street right here, West Main Street in front of us. Okay, so that's Main Street. Jubal Early. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. So according to this, okay, so here we are. Let, let me flip the camera. Okay, so this is us right here, okay? So the South River is right over that way, okay? This is West Main Street, okay? This is West Main Street. And this is West Broad Street, which is right over there. We have Broad Street, and then there's the Walmart. Okay, right here literally is where Jubal Early's soldiers were. The cemetery is right here. Cemetery is right here. This is the red brick house. So this is the battle of Waynesboro that took place right there. So now that I got my bearings. One of the most terrible panics and stampedes I have ever seen. There was a perfect route along the road up the mountain, and the enemy dashed forward into the swarm of flying men, wagons, etc. The whole army was captured or uh, scattered. The situation as it turned, and I saw it, convinced me that all was lost, especially when I saw the general's officers rush by me in the headlong stampede. Stonewall Jackson's map marker. Wow. So after the victory at Waynesboro, federal forces marched through Albemarle County to the James Renner at Scottsville. After they destroyed parts of the canal and the other buildings there, Union tr troops under General Sheridan continued to Petersburg area and rejoined the commander of U.S. General Lee. I mean, Gen Grant. So, here's where we are. Boom. Right smack dab in the middle of the Battle of Waynesboro. So this is where all of it took place right there between the river and that and Early's right here. And that was the end of the valley being held by the Confederates. And unfortunately, here at the Plum House, there's no information. And here it's in the registry, National Registry of the Historic Places of the United States interior we're going to get the red brick house put on here as well and become a virginia historic landmark um 
if you're looking from where I'm standing right now, the cemetery, that white building right there, the cemetery is right behind that, and through those trees is the red brick house. So, that's all I've got. So, I'll have to come back tomorrow and make sure I'm here between 10 and, um, 10 and 4. It's just 4 o'clock now. They closed early on. Um, I'm looking at this. I, I see a lot of peeling paint. A lot of peeling paint. See the same bricks here. They got their air conditioning unit kind of hidden in the side there. See the round gutters? Boom. That's what we're going to be putting on ours. Standing seam roof just like we have. Federal style. Chimney on each side. See this chimney here. This is definitely original brick and lime mortar. This chimney up here. Boy, those bricks are really weathered. They are really weathered bad. And let's take a look. I, I, I want to see this wooden water pipe. I'm just trying to imagine how they drilled that sucker out. Hmm. Wooden water pipe. A nearly 22 foot long water pipe was evacuated. Okay. In Cremera. It carried water to the 155 acre farm, which included distilleries, figures. <laughs> the, you know, when you, when you start talking about making some liquor, they're going to find a way to make it work. So they had a wooden drill bit. The pipe was drilled with a hole auger down the center. Wow. The pipes were tapered to one end so they could fit the other. Damn. I tell you what, that's doing something right there. Wow. I don't see daylight down the other end. <laughs> I, I just can't even imagine that one. All right, good people. So that's what we learned. We'll have to come back tomorrow to the Plum House here and uh, get our Waynesboro book. Dag nabbit. I got too busy fixing the lime mortar and forgot to get here sooner. Oh well. Uh, I can, at least I'm not the only one that needs to trim the bushes. Look, uh, gopher. See, look at it. The damn gophers. The gophers are all over the place out here. And we got the outhouse. That's locked. So you can't use it. All right, you good people. I will see you guys here tomorrow at the Plum House so I can get my History of Waynesboro book. Fishburn Academy? I think it's Fishburn. Is it Fishburn? I think it's Fishburn Academy. Another historic location. Oh, boy. I meant to do it. That was one of the things on my list. And I am way behind on it. There's just not enough hours in the day. Man, I really wanted to get my hands on that book. Well, back to work on the Red Brick House. I'm Mark Holmes, and well, we're doing our part to hold on to the history. Peace.